Mosques in Singapore will remain closed until further notice. Friday prayers will also be suspended. The Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, or MUIS, says this is due to the rising number of COVID-19 cases and mosques will only reopen when there are significant improvements. And this will be advised by the health ministry. Now, for now, there is a need to put in place precautionary measures and educate the public on new social norms. All mosques in Singapore have been closed since 13 March. It is a precaution to stop the spread of COVID-19 after some Singaporeans tested positive after returning from a large religious gathering in Malaysia. Mosques were supposed to reopen this Friday, but in a press conference held on Tuesday, senior religious leaders from Fatwa say the situation has worsened with a rising number of cases. The committee was unanimous in its view that it is unsafe to reopen our mosque now. The only responsible and right thing to do now is to do everything necessary to prevent infection, which is not to gather in large congregations. The announcement to close mosques indefinitely comes just one month before the holy fasting month of Ramadan, and leaders acknowledged it will likely be very different if the closure drags on. We perform our prayers. Uh, now we're not able to do it in our mosque. We do it at home, even in congregations with our family. Um, if we have to do the same for Ramadan, then we need to do the same. Our religiosity, our spirituality should not uh, be weakened because we are not able to perform certain things in our mosque. According to a survey from MUIS done with 32,000 people, the consensus is there's a need for additional precautionary measures to be put in place when the mosques eventually reopen. But still, MUIS says there's a need for public acceptance and education as it starts a campaign over broadcast channels to socialize new norms. There are new norms that we need to acquire so at the mosque and at home so this thing about safe distancing about one meter it's it takes time for people to 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 um, acquire avoid hugging kissing of faces kissing of hands this kind of habits we need to stop because it actually increases our risk of getting COVID-19 we should only reopen our mosque when it is safe to do so and when our community has also um, gotten used to all the necessary precautionary steps. Mosques will continue to provide essential services to the community with programs and talks online and on the radio. Zakat financial assistance for low-income families, including the elderly, will also remain available at the 31 social development mosques. Small spaces at 19 mosques will continue to stay open for working Muslims, such as taxi or delivery drivers, to do their individual prayers. It's a chance, the panel says, for mosques to build up a system of precautionary measures and encourage the community to practice new social norms. Minister. Minister in charge of Muslim Affairs, Masagos Zukifli, also expressed his support to extend the closure of mosques. And he thanked Muslims for their support and cooperation during this challenging time, as well as their efforts in curbing the spread of the virus.